Clause 2 of the bill proposes to amend Section 5 of the Constitution, which section deals with the protection of the right to personal liberty. And we wish to do that in order to provide for the preventive or preventative, either word is, is, is fine, to provide for the preventative detention of persons associated with criminal activities in the interests of public safety, peace, and good order. Well, let me make clear to the people who are listening, Mr. Speaker, that if we succeed in changing the Constitution, what we're doing is to introduce into the Constitution an enabling provision. In other words, as things now stand, you can't have a law that provides for the detention of citizens for longer than 48 hours without a charge being laid, without being taken before a court, because the Constitution prevents that from happening. If this change goes through, that would no longer be the case. The Constitution would permit the passage of a detailed bill that would then uh, spell out what the implementing provisions of a preventative detention regime would be. Clause 2 of the bill that's being introduced would provide an overriding safeguard in that it makes clear that under the implementing legislation, any detention order that would be possible that, that the police could secure from the authorities could not last longer than 21 days. If there's a need to extend that under the implementing law, that law will provide for an application so to extend to be made to a judge of the Supreme Court. Let me point out, Mr. Speaker, that there are similar laws in the UK, in India, and in other countries.